Hold on, before we get into the video, if you guys are tired of playing my career, you want your badges fast so you can hit the park ASAP, make sure y'all go hit up my boy Star Grinders on Twitter and IG to get your badges grinded fast, easy, and legit. The number one trusted badge grinding service in the 2K community. Make sure you tell him that Dunga sent you. Link to his Twitter and IG will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Aha. Yo, what's going on, fellas? Hey, y'all see what's going on, man. We got on the next gen. I'm trying to grind these badges, but also I need to grind my, you know, my hotspots at the same time because when I'm done with my badges, I want to be done with everything. I want to be a 95 overall. I want to be have all my hot zones in the park. And I'm on my way there, honestly. You know, you see I got my all my hot spots in you know, the three-point land, your three-point arc, whatever you want to call it. But I just want to explain something for the people that are just getting the game and they want to get their hot zones too. You know, just so you don't have to go into my career blindly. I want you to know what you're doing. So obviously, yes, you see the two cold spots at the like the right and the left wing a little bit. Yeah, we see that. And also you see the hot in the uh the hot zone in the little painted area. And mostly the all the three-point area, the corners and everything. Now let me tell you how this hot zone-ish works, man. So basically you can see all around the three-point area, I'm shooting at least, let's say 45-50% or better, right? And you see the spots where I'm cold at, I'm shooting below 40%. So, basically, you can see right in the middle, right in the middle of that dark yellow place, I'm shooting 4 for 10, 40%. But it's not hot or cold, it's, it's nothing, it's a, it's a neutral spot. Why is that? It's like, so you see, yo, look at the spots where I'm cold at. I have at least 15, 20 shots in that area. In every area that I have a hot zone in or a cold zone, I shoot at least 15 shots in it. You know, the neutral spot, I shot 14 shots, not 15. In all the other spots that are neutral, I'm shooting below 15 shots. Now, the green, it's, it's green because, you know, I'm on the track to make them hot zones. I just need to shoot there a little bit more and make a little bit more shots. For, for the yellow ones, yeah, I'm not doing so good on there. You see, I'm 0 for 5 right there. I think you can see that and I'm uh 5 for 15 4 for 10 so on so on 5 for 14 whatever basically I need to shoot at least 15 shots in a zone to get it hot and I need to shoot above 40 percent but if I shoot 15 shots and I'm average below 40 percent it's probably gonna turn cold so I'm saying What's a good method, you know, to get your shots off efficiently? And you got to make them too, because this year, I ain't going to lie, the defense plays you pretty differently. You know, they don't let you get open as easy. The defense kind of collapsed on you. They send more double teams at you. It's very hard to do a pick and roll because you get doubled off of the screen or you get denied the screen. So either way, the computer is more intelligent this year. So how, like, how do you get around them? So you see right here, I'm just going for the dunk. You know, that's easy to get the, um, your hot zone in the little paint red. Hey, that's easy because all you have to do is just go in the paint and dunk. Everybody gets really a 90 plus driving dunk this year. And if you don't, hey, that's on you. You should at least have like an 85 driving dunk. Dunk all the time. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to talk about that because that's probably the easiest one. And the hardest thing is not even shooting three pointers. It's shooting mid ranges because you know why you want to get in that little mid range spot. The hardest part is not shooting, but it's getting in that hot zone without people double teaming you. Because, yes, the computer is not going to let you just shoot 15 shots from the same place each and every time. So, you're going to have to mix it up. You're going to have to change it up. You see that I'm missing, right? The defense is collapsing on me every time I go to that shot that spot on the court they already know i'm going there say there's a yo double team on double team so it's like okay i'm gonna show y'all exactly what to do in one specific move so right here you know i'm going to get the ball i have takeover by the way i have takeover you know i'm gonna call for a quick isolation 
I'm going to go all the way drive, step back in and shoot the ball. See right there why I step back. That's my cold spot. I need to get that hot. You remember, refer to the beginning of the video. You know I have a cold spot there, so I need to shoot more shots there. And especially these. You see how fast Trey Young cut off to me. And I'm going at my max speed right now. I'm going at my max speed. So, of course, yes, you're going to get easy shots like that. Where on some fast break, you just go and shoot the shot in your, you know, your cold, hot spot, whatever, neutral spot, to get that spot hot. But sometimes the defense is going to be on that <laughs> most of the time. It's not like current gen. Not, I'm not even going to say current gen because basically this is current gen now, right? Or next year. I'm not going to say that for last gen. The defense lets you do whatever you want. But this year, you know, the, you know, the defense, they got, they got more intelligence. So you got to find a way to finesse. But this way works every single time. I'm driving. I step back into my cold spot. And I shoot the ball, it goes in every single time, especially when you got that takeover badge. So I'm saying the only reason I say mid ranges are harder to shoot than three pointers because I can literally shoot a three pointer, you know, go into the mid range area a little bit and do a step back and be completely open. Remember to call that quick isolation before you do it, too. Remember, all you want to do is get in your spot, you know, that's why it's going to be hard because that right there, you've seen it. I step back and then he just double teamed me right out of nowhere. It's so cluttered inside of the paint or inside of the three point arc that it's going to be hard to get at mid range in. Even if you call the ISO, they're still going to be on it. It's so cluttered inside of the three point arc. It's like, wow, okay. And like, everybody can get a contest off you if they're just near you. That's why, that's why they got the blindness badge now. Because they you they want to make that badge useful, so they're gonna say, all right, we're gonna make peripheral defenders a real thing this year. You know, they can get a contest just by standing near you. So it's gonna be hard if you don't have that badge on whatever, whatever, gold, hall of fame, whatever, and just try to shoot in the mid range. That's why it's easy to get your 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 hot spots from three point land. You know, you may say, okay, I I only need hot spots from the three, but you never know when you're going to be forced to shoot in mid-range. You never know what everything is going to happen. So you might as well just go for it. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's really all you need to learn, perfect, in order to get all your hot spots. I can go on forever and forever, but truth be told is this is probably the most efficient way to get that, you know, to get what you want. And y'all probably like, yo, what escape is that? I'm going to tell y'all, I think it's Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, this is the scale where you get that little... You, all you have to do is just flick back on the right stick and you're going to do the animation. You know? Just flick back, I think, hold R2 and flick back. That's it. And you're going to get the animation. That's put on the Kobe Bryant side of the escape package. And you'll be straight, man. But, for real, that's how I got all my hot spots from the three-point arc. And that's how I'm going to get the rest of them. So, that's really my method, you know? If you got a, if you got a question... Feel free to comment down below and I'm gonna get back to you. Give me like 20 seconds, I'm gonna get back to you as soon as possible. But you know, without further ado, I hope this tutorial helped y'all a little bit. You know, got y'all whatever y'all wanna do. You can go on my career, get all your badges today, get all your hotspots today, head to the park. And, you know, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Peace.